Hello there, it's me Rama, and in this update I've added static save data to my save system. This allows you to associate any kind of simple variable data with a file without having to load the file to view it, such as when was this file saved, where was the player, what town were they in, what was in their inventory, how much health did they have, what level were they, who was in their party, whatever you want, any kind of info. But you can load that info without having to load all the actors in the world, without actually having to load the save file at all. That's why I'm calling it static. Another reason it's static because it doesn't involve loading all the actors is because it's not related to any specific actor. It's related to the save file itself. It's per save file. So that means you could also load this file, uh, basically a file header, when the engine is still warming up. You know, the game hasn't fully launched yet, like in the case of ki any kind of entry level. You're not really in the game yet, but you're, you're in the menu and you want to see stuff instantly, such as any custom settings to the menu itself. You can load static data as soon as the engine U world is valid. You don't need a, you don't actually need to spawn any actors. So if you can't spawn actors like in a constructor or wherever, you can load static data. And uh, that is that is where you load it. That's the node to load it. But you're going to want to create it first. <laughs> so let's get rid of RSO2. And let's make another one. So we're going to say Rama save object. This is the actual data structure that holds your static data. We'll call this RSO3. Now in here, all you do is define your variables that you're going to want to store. Let's say you're going to have a string and you're going to want to have an integer and then you also really need to uh, let's see what do we want here i want something fun let's go with ooh gameplay gameplay tag let's go with gameplay tag so you have a uh, one or you maybe you have an array of gameplay tags right and these are all the things that are associated with the file itself, not specifically tied to an actor. Even things like score, right? Maybe this is score, and this is player's name that they picked for themselves or whatever, and you just want to see it. You don't actually want to load the file. It's like, who's, what, what was the name of the player for this save file? And then what were their, their gameplay tags? So that's all you do here in this. This is actually a U object. This is not actually an actor, so um, things like begin play won't be as relevant here. But now you've you've defined your variables. Now you need to actually instance your object, and that's what you do here with construct object. And now you pick your shiny new thing that you made, which you spell correctly, unlike me. Here, this thing, and then now you've made it. Now you have to save it to a variable, or it will get garbage collected. So you you could put it in level blueprint, maybe, probably you don't want it there. You're probably going to want it in your game state or in your player controller, somewhere that's always going to be traveling with the player wherever they go. And so you you instance the object at some point, and then you can set its variables by just accessing and setting, and that's it. That's all you got to do. But that's not the final step. That's just how you update, like every time the player... Uh, defeats a creature, then you increment the score variable, right, with that kind of logic. But then here, when you're saving, you want to pass in this object. Now notice you can only pass in one, and that's because it's related to the file. Again, essentially it's a file header. You can basically peek and take out any info you want that's simple data without loading all of the actors in the save file. And it's great for persistent data that is just per level. No autosave, no! It's just persistent data. And it's like, you know, again, score, level progress within that level, whatever. Whatever you want to store that you want to relate to the save file. So this thing could be potentially huge. It's fine with me, it doesn't bother my code. It just has to be static data. And uh, simple variable types, like integers and u structs and... Uh, your own custom structures, enums, whatever, and then you can load it here. Or asset pointers, like to static meshes or materials, the player's preferred cape type, whatever, stuff like that. So then you just pass that object in and you're done. Then when you're ready to load, either before the level has finished loading, you know, uh, 
at the time that the entry level to the entry level map is loading and you want to load stuff at that time before you, and the whole world has even become valid you can do that right here with load static data now last key part when you're implementing this is make sure you cast so you say load and I'm just providing the base class so you need to say cast and then in this case RSO3 now that it's casted now you can access your variable and you can do whatever you want with it and again call this anytime anywhere constructor and the world's not even finished loading or the person's in a file viewer there you're showing them all their replays and you want to show info about each anytime anywhere it's fine and you can just do it like this and then that's all there is to it again the huge advantage is now you have a set of data you can associate with any save file as much data as you want and it's not tied to any particular actor it's just general world data again it could be the player's entire progress through the game because maybe one save file represents an, one entire playthrough that is a persistent entity which is what save systems are for well their entire save progress could be stored here any data you want so really quite useful I'm really quite happy for this edition because it should fill in a, a role that you'll very much enjoy now there's one other feature that's been added along with this now that we have static data I have a logging feature to print out every static property that is being saved or loaded so you can verify the system is working the things are happening just you know gain more confidence in your structure that you've set up that everything's implemented correctly but that's all there is to it <laughs> and then anytime you can just add more variables or delete them and you'll be fine so I hope you've enjoyed this or I hope you enjoy this new edition and if you haven't bought the plugin yet I hope you will enjoy it because frankly it uh, I now have this hybrid system where I'm supporting the idea of a save object or just storing a bunch of variable data but I'm also supporting the object oriented model of per actor everybody having their own save data that is then loaded into that specific actor instance so you can save a vast world but now of actors and creatures and their exact positions but now you can also save any persistent simple static global data as well and even load it separately from the file itself just load the static data as this object have fun today oh yeah <laughs> gotta end the recording have fun